that's it, folks. We take out the Calamity uh, aggro deck, and that is satisfying. Welcome to Menacing MTG. Have a um, infinite combo deck here, um, and it is pretty hard to stop. Um, there are only two Exquisite Blood in here, but it is a key card. Yes, we can win without Exquisite Blood, absolutely. Um, but it is a key card, and you know, if it's removed, you know, to have only two in the deck is a little bit light. It's all that I own, but it, it seems to do the trick. So, um, Exquisite Blood teamed with either Marauding uh, Blight Priest or Vito um, equate to whenever you gain life or the opponent loses life, then the chain of the uh, infinite combination occurs between these cards here. So um, in the meantime, what we have is a lot of ways to gain life so that we have some standing items that are gaining us life, like Sanctum of Stonefangs and Fountain of Renewal, ways to gain life with Charming Prince, Revitalize, which is also drawing us cards, um, Heliod's intervention can either destroy artifacts and enchantments or gain life. Um, Herophant's Chalice, when it comes on the battlefield, gains us a life, the opponent loses a life. Murderous Rider has lifelink and can kill things. Call of Death, Death Dweller can bring things back like Vito, Marauding Bright, Blight Priest, or any other three drop or less creature. Um, then we have Teleportation Circle, and this just further enhances the, the uh, impact uh, that these things have on this deck. For example, if we have Teleportation up, if we have a Charming Prince up, if we have a Vito up and we have an Exquisite Blood up, we don't even need to attack or bring something else on. We merely blink the Charming Prince, gain three life, the uh, Infinite Combination ensues. Same with Varaska's Contempt, you can kill something, gain two life, possibly triggering that combo. Um, then we have Soren, which gives all of our creatures lifelink and planeswalkers, so when Soren uses its plus two and does one damage to an opponent, we gain a life. Okay, so we have a lot of that going on. You can also bring cards back from the graveyard to the battlefield. Um, then we have some sweepers in here in the form of Blood on the Snow, and three of those, and with the snow lands that we have in here, you can bring something back like Vito. Um, and then we have um, two extinction events. So yeah, a reasonable amount of removal with Erebos's intervention, Heliod's intervention, Raska's contempt, extinction event, and um, blood on the snow. And last but not least, we do have an unbreakable bond in here, so we can bring something back and give it lifelink, further creating problems for the opponent. Um, and so two ways to bring things back. And let's take a very quick look here at the land. Which we, I'm going to talk about the snow lands first. We have six snow plains, and we have nine snow swamps. So enough for us to, to run blood on the snow and bring back Vito uh, easily. Okay, speaking of Vito, we have a single copy of Tyrate Sanctum, so you can put a plus one, plus one on a legendary creature, which Vito is, and then you can um, make it, if it has... Uh, you can also make it indestructible. You sacrifice the Sanctum to get that done. So then we have a Castle Lockthwain for card draw and a Castle Ardenvale to drop a token on, which I've yet to have to do with this deck. It just is insane. Um, then we have a single copy of Bright uh, Climb Pathway. And um, what else do we have here? Um, four Scoured Barons, which gain us life. Again, triggering all these things. So we're pretty rich in life. We're hard to kill. We can last a long time to get the pieces on the battlefield. And a single copy of Radiant Fountain that gains us two life. So there it is. It's a 24 mana deck. And um, it's really got it all in here. You can also use Fountain Renewal to draw a card with. So that's a great uh, perk. And that's the whole thing. So yeah, uh, 
I uh, appreciate you tuning in to Menacing MTG. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, have a great day. Take care. Yeah, I like it. This actually is going to work out quite nice. We'll go first even, which is excellent. So on turn two, we revitalize. Gain life, draw a card. So we're going to really we get land that's amazing. We'll flush with cards. Now, given that we have Veto here, we're not going to play the other Revitalize. We'll get that Veto on right away. we got Black, which is a bit scary for Veto, as they can remove it. Ah, crap. There it goes. No surprise there. Um, put up the Blight Priest. We can bring Vito back with uh, Soren. Okay, Scavenger, don't like that one bit. Put up the Barons. So we do not want to um, yet run Soren. We'll go ahead and draw a card here. Do the life gain thing. What we're on a mission for here is to um, get Vito back on, but we may we may have options here. Let's see what we got. We can kill this with this next turn. Um, yeah, may as well attack. See if he gives it up. I doubt he will. He's got the life gain thing going now. No reason to trade here. Okay, he's going to trade. I'll take it. So we will eventually get Vito back. Nighthawk <laughs> Scavenger. Okay, I can see why, but I'm going to be disappointed to see the Erebos' intervention come out. Okay, um... Let's see here, um... Yeah, we gotta run it. Another Nighthawk Scavenger down. Those are just such great cards, but there they go. As did some of my creatures. Okay, that is a tough card. We need the mana at this point to deal with that. And we're gonna go look for it. We get it. Perfect. Um, now we're going to use uh, Moon Blessing because we're just going to take care of a piece of business here that we are interested in, and that is to get, well, I guess we get Exquisite Blood right here. They see it, so they're on alert at this point. So not only will I get that in hand, but I'll be able to kill... Are they going to kill my creature? That's fine. Uh, we'll be able to kill Drana and bring back Vita. Oh, yikes. Okay, yeah, that's very bad. We get 30 mana for 30 life still. And we're really in great shape here. And here we go. Just got to do it. Okay, that cleans the docks. We got three mana. Is there anything they can do? One of those spells that brings the creature back. They do. Nicely done. Vito's in. And they know that I've got exquisite blood in hand, so this is getting scary. Now, I do have another blood on the snow, so I'm not terribly worried. They have a murder. They can use it. They're going to see blood on the snow again. Be able to hit here, and they'll be able to bring it back again. And I'm just hoping they don't have a way to keep this Drana alive. Very good card. They're going to just be like, what the heck, when they see blood on the snow. Because here it comes. Yes, give me Veto again. Blood on the Snow, come on. It's just, it's an epic card in a short time in existence already. Okay, they get the third card in hand. We've got the tools. We can bring Veto back if necessary. Yes, yeah, Soren will do the task here. 
can also bring Vito back again. They're going to kill it again. That's the third murder we've seen. That is absolutely stupid. Okay, so. Exquisite blood up. We've got seven mana, so we're not there yet. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. They probably have some kill spells. Three murders already, though. Let's see what we got. We can bring things back with this. Okay, more mana. Nine right there. One more mana, and we could end the game. So I'm a little bit concerned here. Um... Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Um, okay, so they're going to come and get this right away, I'm sure. We're going to whack them. Okay. Nice. And that means next turn, hopefully be, they don't have an instant kill spell next turn, um, we can just drop... The veto and whack with Soren and game over. Oh, they put Drana in hand. It's going to come on. It's too late, folks. It's too late for that. They're desperate here. They don't even go at the Planeswalker. Okay, they're tapped out. Good game. We're just not giving up on Vito, are we? That's it. What a mess. And the infinite combo is unleashed, and that's going to be the game, folks. You may hear the train in the distance at the crossing about a quarter mile from me. And they're going to, they've seen enough. Okay, opponent goes first, as per usual. Mr. Lazy, we're hoping he is just that. We were looking for a white mana. So I can run Revitalize. Okay, we get the Barons. That's good. Okay, that's excellent news here. It means we can hold on to Radiant Fountain for use after we get Vito on the battlefield. Okay, Prince. Um, things are looking pretty damn good here. We're going to bring up the Prince. We're going to scry. Okay, um, what do we need for lands here? We have two, three, four, five is enough. Can get rid of the Tyrite. Gonna keep the swamp. So it's veto time. Well, I hope it remains on the battlefield. Vito up. Attack with the friends. Okay. Okay, Lanor, great. That is so excellent. So now what we're going to do is Radiant Fountain, do some damage. Gain some life. Soren, up. I have come for some damage, patience. gain some life. <laughs> What a mess I've made. Charming Prince in. Okay, high impact turn. Okay, high impact turn. Now they've got a ton of mana. They can do something super scary. Fortunately, we have Varaska's Contempt. Oof. Alright, so what can we do that's the most impactful? Well, I guess what we have to do here is... We only have the one white, which sucks. We're going to put Moon Blessed up. Good blocker. In addition to getting 
Exquisite blood in hand. And now they're on alert, folks. They're on alert. This is going to do nothing but hurt like hell as we come in here and just they're in deep, deep, deep trouble here. Uh, there's almost no way out of this. Soren is just primed here. It's going to be very hard to kill. Terror of the Peaks is fabulous. Questing Beast is fabulous. It's just not enough, folks. That's the game. There it is. Awesome game as they brought on some super scary stuff there. Okay, uh, good hand. We'll take it. When it goes first, it seems just to be... I mean, really, folks. I think that I get about 25% of the go first games. Okay, and we get goblins, which is a problem. We do have blood on the snow, and we have five mana in hand and on the battlefield. But that hurts. Nothing we can do this turn. But watch it happen. We can put a murderous rider on the battlefield next turn and hope it lives. Well, this is bad. Fortunately, they don't have haste. It goes. No, 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 cancel. I want that as a creature, folks. And they'll probably be able to kill it. If they do, I'm in big trouble. They don't. So this is a bit of a problem for them. They will come out ahead, but I'll remove things. They don't attack. How sweet it is. Okay, um, Vito comes up. Okay, excellent. Next turn, exquisite blood and they're screwed. Okay. Here they come. Unfortunately for them, they lose the game next turn. Unless they have a shock and they can eliminate Give them a good game. And that's it, folks. We take out the Calamity uh, aggro deck, and that is satisfying.